Hey guys, on my own today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got some new crankbaits I painted up, and I want to test them out and see how they work. And I'm trying some different stuff with jigs that I haven't done before, or very little of it. And I want to see if I can make things a little better there, so stick with me. We'll see how this turns out. Little one. Got a little one. Yeah. You didn't get you in the mouth, did I? Do we get to count that? Got him by the gill plate. Mm. You took a swipe at it, you just didn't hit it, that's all. Come on. Get out of the gill plate, huh? There we go. There we go. Little guy on the edge of the uh, pads here and after the shallow diver we'll talk about that a little more a little later That's a decent fish. All right, I'm something I'm going to show you here that I'm getting taught real fast here this morning. That's the second one that has missed it. That's the second one now. Took a shot at the bank and missed it. Put him on the outside. So today, what that tells me is. They are just swiping at things. I'm getting a reaction to this bait. Let me toss him back out. Maybe about a 14 inch or so. What I'm getting is I'm getting these are strictly reaction strikes. Something's there, heading by them fast, and they just can't resist and they're taking a swipe at it. But they're they're not, it's not like they're hungry. They're just taking reaction strikes. So sometimes you're not gonna be hooking those, you're gonna miss a few of those. So Let's keep going at him here, right on the edge of the lily pads here. There we go. Another one. Number three, and I still haven't put one with a hook in his mouth yet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I do too. I got the back hook in his mouth. There we go. Another 14, 15 inch. Okay, so what am I doing here? Well, hopefully you'll be able to notice. I, there we go. Hang on. All right, there we go. Yeah, hold still. Yeah, get a hold of him here. There we go, another 13 inch maybe. All right, maybe it's time I took a minute and showed you this lure. This is the newest one I've painted. And basically still a bluegill pattern, 
but I've really put a lot of the veining into this one and the black and the red. I haven't decided what to call that yet. Is that like a zombie gill or something? I don't know. There we go. Oh, something. Not sure if that was a fish or if that was a lily pad. That one's a fish. Definitely a fish. All right. Oh, still. death grip on him here all right switched over from the uh, 1.5 put on an s crank basically we're still talking something that's only uh, four to five foot deep so it's still not going very deep so there we go but he might make 12 and that guys is the only thing that's worked today I've tried jigs I've tried worm so far, it has been these shallow square bills up close to lily pads, and that's it. There we go. Right out here, a little deeper. Yeah, it ain't real big, though. Well guys, we kind of discussed the fact of this being a way to, different way to fish when you're by yourself. You can get in here, crowd the lily pads, you know, try to work for that reaction strike. But there's one other thing today showed me, and that is that style of fishing will catch you fish when other things won't. Okay, I've worked my steep rocky banks around here. Hang on just a second, there's a fish. All right, let me get him off and I'll finish my train of thought here in just a second. Nice little, not big, 13, 14 maybe. There we go. All right, let me finish my train of thought. I have fished my rocky banks with my jig and I never caught a fish. Uh, I fished deep and couldn't get a bite. I have worked these same lily pads with a jig, with a worm, and with soft plastic and I couldn't get a bite. Coming through and with the crankbait. Now, I was using a 1.5 before. Now I'm using an S-crank. A little bit different. This is kind of a white colored S-crank that I painted. But it's still only, if a, a lure is only going to go down four or five feet. And I'm putting it right on the edge of those lily pads, going for that reaction hit. That way, today, you've only seen me catch four or five. I think I'm probably at 14 or 15 that I've caught. Every one has been a shallow crank up close to lily pads. The deep stuff didn't work in jigs, but even here along these same lily pads, throwing something that you're going to go slow, the jig, the worm, a, a soft plastic, a craw, they weren't interested in biting. There really wasn't a good bite today, but I just kept getting fish because I was throwing something that got a reaction from them. They didn't necessarily want to eat it, but when I pushed it by those edge of those lily pads real quick, they just couldn't turn it down. They had to hit it. 
that's where I caught the fish. So, yeah, this way worked real well when there's one guy in a boat gives you something else to do. But at the same token, if I would have gone with my standard normal tactics that Bob and I have always fished, which I did, I might not have gotten anything today or very little. The way it is, they weren't big, but I had a pretty good day. So hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.